How's it going everyone and welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel where as you all know, it's all about the taco. On today's video, I'm going to bring you the latest scoops on the all new 4th gen Toyota Tacoma. I was fortunate enough to have Toyota fly me out and invite me to Hawaii where I got an exclusive first look at this incredible truck. And let me tell you, my experience was nothing short of amazing. I had the opportunity to hang out with the Toyota team and witness firsthand the innovation and craftsmanship that went into creating the all new 4th gen Tacoma. So let's dive right in. I've got a ton of incredible details to share with you. So grab your coffee, popcorn or ice cream and get ready to talk taco. Before we get started, I just want to clarify that I'm not sponsored or compensated by Toyota in any way. And if you want to skip ahead, use the chapter markers below. But trust me, you won't want to miss what I have in store for you. Now let's get started. One of the standout features of the new Tacoma is its TNGAF global truck platform, which it shares with the all new Tundra and Sequoia. The chassis is made out of high strength steel with blanking and laser welds, making it more rigid than previous generations. And to reduce weight, aluminum is used on the upper body. Frame cross members have also been strengthened to increase durability, allowing you to carry all the overland gear you need. Plus, the roof is equipped with integrated attachment holes that make it easier to add a roof rack on all the models. The new Tacoma also features a new front cross member for the steering gearbox, which adds rigidity and enhances steering inputs and handling dynamics. And to make maintenance and recovery easier, a new high lift jack point has been integrated into the rear frame end. To further enhance the ride and handling of the Tacoma, Toyota has introduced a newly available multi-link rear suspension, replacing the previous model's leaf springs with a set of coils. Leaf springs will still remain standard on SR, SR5, Extra Cab, and TRD pre-runner models, while the rest of the lineup features the newly introduced multi-link rear suspension. When it comes to braking performance, the new Tacoma gets four-wheel disc brakes, providing better stopping power compared to the previous model. And for even more stopping power, TRD models are equipped with a larger front brake package and TRD models that are equipped with iForce Max will have a larger rear brake package as well. Unfortunately, the traditional e-brake handle that we're used to pulling up on will no longer be available in Toyota's latest models. Instead, they have introduced an electronic parking brake that comes with the advanced features like low speed radar cruise control and a brake hold function. I know some of you may miss the old e-brake handle, but it was only a matter of time before Toyota made this change. In addition to the new electronic parking brake, the Tacoma model will also feature electronic power steering. This change was made to improve the vehicle steering feel and enable the integration of additional safety and convenience features. The latest Tacoma model now comes with suspension that are specifically tuned for each model. For example, the TRD Sport model boasts red TRD Sport tuned shocks, which provide a more responsive feel. On the other hand, the TRD off-road model is equipped with monotube Bilstein remote reservoir shocks that allow for extended wheel travel and better heat dissipation. This model also includes an end stop control valve that offers increased stamping force as the suspension approaches full bound stroke. Moving on to the TRD Pro model, it features Fox latest QS3 way adjustable internal bypass shocks with remote reservoirs. These shocks improve the vehicle's high speed off-road performance while the Fox internal floating pistons rear bump stops help enhance bottom out feel. For those who opt for the Trail Hunter model, it now comes with a new Old Man Emu 4x4 suspension by ARB that is specifically tuned for optimal off-road control and load carrying capability. Last but not least, the Limited model has a new adaptive variable suspension system that constantly adjusts damping force based on changing road conditions. This linear solenoid type AVS system has built-in actuators in the front and rear shock absorbers which work together to continually modify damping force and give the new Tacoma a smooth and luxurious ride. The Tacoma offers a maximum towing capacity of 6,500 pounds on the SR5, iForce, and TRD Pre-Runner Extra Cab models. On the other hand, the TRD Off-Road model can handle a maximum payload of up to 1,709 pounds to make towing easy 
easier, the Tacoma is equipped with various supporting features including a trailer brake controller, trailer backup guide, and digital display mirror. The trailer backup guidance is designed to help with maneuvering the trailer while the straight path assist feature helps the truck and trailer to back up in a straight line. The 360 degree cameras that are available offer a top down perspective which enhances visibility in hard to see areas around both the truck and trailer. Additionally, the blind spot monitors is designed to recognize blind spots not only for the truck but also for certain trailers when operating with Toyota's integrated trailer brake controller. The Tacoma's aluminum tailgate features a power open and close function with jam protection and a quick release and close button is integrated within either taillight, just like the Tundra. Gas models offer a 400 watt AC inverter outlet in the bed and on the rear of the center console. While iForce Max models come standard with a 2400 watt AC inverter, both the bed and cabin offer a 12 volt DC power axis. For the Trail Hunter grade, an integrated high output air compressor is available in the bed. It allows for airing up large diameter tires quickly after airing them down for spending days or weeks out on the trails. And this feature right here, I absolutely love. The new fourth generation Tacoma takes its off-road capability to new heights. And this new feature, ladies and gentlemen, is amazing. Drivers will now be able to increase the truck's flexibility by using the all new front stabilizing bar disconnect feature, which can be activated at the push of a button. When disconnected, the Tacoma's articulation improves by 10% compared to the previous generations. With tons of available cameras installed on the new Tacoma, TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro, and Trail Hunter, drivers can view potential obstacles on the trail throughout the multi-terrain monitor. The monitor is displayed on an available 14-inch touchscreen, which I am for sure going to get. Additionally, the Tacoma comes standard with front recovery hooks and offers optional rear recovery hooks and underbody protection. Multi-terrain select is now functional in both four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low, offering adjustable settings to control wheel spin on various terrains, including mud, dirt, sand. The new crawl control function is significantly quieter and acts as a low-speed off-road cruise control system that maintains one of the five selectable speeds while allowing the driver to focus on steering. The available electronically activated locking rear differential helps split power 50-50 to the rear wheels in situations with limited traction. The downhill assist control features will help us drivers navigate descents by limiting the vehicle's speed. And lastly, manual equipped Tacomas will come with a standard clutch start cancel feature which allows the truck to start in gear without the driver having to press the clutch pedal when facing challenging off-road driving scenes. That right there made me consider buying a manual Tacoma. Now we dive into the powertrain options for the fourth gen Tacoma, something that everyone has been eagerly waiting for. Toyota will offer two powertrains. First option features a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine for the entry level SR model. This engine produces 228 horsepower and 243 pound foot of torque. However, for all other models, the output increased to 278 horsepower and 317 pound foot of torque when paired with the new eight speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. Manual owners will also be pleased to know that there is an option for a six speed intelligent manual transmission with automatic rev matching and anti-stall technology. Manual transmission models will produce 270 horsepower and 310 pound foot of torque. And for the second option, Toyota is introducing the iForce Max hybrid powertrain, which is the most powerful powertrain ever offered on the Tacoma. Available on the TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, Limited, and Standard on the TRD Pro and Trail Hunter Halo models. The iForce Max combines a 2.4 liter engine with a 48 horsepower electronic motor integrated into the 8-speed transmission. It feeds off 1.87 kilowatt hours into a nickel metal hydrate battery pack, creating a total system output of 326 horsepower and a massive 465 pound foot of torque. This torque output nearly doubles the current gen trucks with the V6 engine. Equipped with the iForce Max, the Tacoma can ascend an 8% interstate grade without downshifting, making long road trips more pleasant than ever before. Fuel economy estimates for all powertrains will be announced closer to their on-sale date. We will keep you posted once this information becomes available, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we release new videos.
Rear wheel drive models are equipped with an automatic limited slip differential, while four wheel drive models come with an electronically controlled two speed transfer case that includes high and low range active traction control and an automatic limited slip differential. The TRD Pre Runner, TRD Off Road, TRD Pro, and Trail Hunter models are all equipped with a standard electronic locking rear differential. I'm sorry to report that a front locker will not be available for those who were hoping for it. For those looking for the ultimate combination of luxury and capability, the new limited model now offers a full-time four-wheel drive system with a center locking differential on iForce Max models. The all-new 2024 Tacoma will go on sale later this year with iForce Max models arriving in early 2024. Manufacturers suggest retail pricing will be announced closer to the on-sale date. As most of you know, Toyota is adding a new Trail Hunter model to its lineup of rugged trucks. This all new model is designed to cater to overlanders and enthusiasts who seek adventure. Toyota partnered with ARB, an Australian based company known for its high quality off-road equipment. I myself have their products on my truck and they are legit. The Trail Hunter features several unique features, including the Old Man Emu, position sensitive 2.5 inch forge monotube shocks with rare external piggyback style remote reservoirs, a steel rear bumper, robust rear recovery points, and a bed utility bar with removable molly panels. The Trail Hunter will be available in either five or six foot bed, double cap configurations, and will come with 33 inch Goodyear Territory rugged terrain tires, which will raise the front by two inches and the rear by one and a half inches. The vehicle also comes with a high clearance trail exhaust tip and a low profile high mount Trail Hunter air intake for better performance. Additionally, the Trail Hunter has rock sliders and multiple hot stamped high strength steel skids plates for off-road protection and adventure capabilities straight from the factory. The Trail Hunter vehicle comes with a bronze colored Toyota Heritage inspired grille with an integrated 20 inch LED light bar as well as a white and yellow color switching rigid LED fog lamps. The lighting in the bed is designed to avoid dark spots and there are integrated bedside scene lights to illuminate the area surrounding the bed for night camping. That feature I cannot wait to have. The Trail Hunter also features a 2,400 watt AC inverter that powers two locations in the cabin and the rear deck with additional 12 volt and USB outlets available for charging other devices. It comes pre-wired for accessories and has three auxiliary toggle switches on the dashboard for additional convenience. Now let's take a look at the TRD Pro model. Although the Trail Hunter is specifically designed for off the grid overlanding adventures, the TRD Pro Tacoma is built more for speed and desert running, which is what I like. The TRD Pro will now come with red aluminum front TRD upper control arms, Fox internal bypass 2.5 inch manual quick switch three shocks that can be adjusted to three different settings via dials on the shock bodies to tune compression damping. The TRD Pro is built around a new multi-link rear suspension with Fox internal floating piston bump stops that can help reduce the impact of even the roughest terrain. In terms of stance, the TRD Pro sits two inches higher in the front and an inch and a half in the rear, and it is three inches wider than a Tacoma SR5. The difference is huge, guys, and honestly, the videos or pictures don't do it justice. I can't wait for you to see it in person. The TRD Pro model will have 33-inch Goodyear Territory rugged terrain tires that will be paired with black flow form TRD wheels. This is great news as it means that from the factory, the TRD Pro comes with 33-inch tires without any rubbing. I immediately thought that fitting 35 inch tires with the larger wheel wheel might be easier or at least that's what I'm hoping for. The TRD Pro standard iForce Max engine will breathe more efficiently through a TRD performance air intake and TRD catback dual tipped exhaust. An integrated LED light bar will work in conjunction with the LED headlights to optimize beam pattern. Then we have a set of rigid white LED fog lamps that will also increase visibility during bad weather. The TRD Pro will also feature a high clearance ARB rear metal bumper with red recovery hooks and an aluminum TRD front skid plate. The beauty exclusively on the new TRD Pro is a segment first ISO dynamic performance seat. When I first saw it, I was blown away. It looks like the king's chair for off-roaders. The goal for this seat is to stabilize the driver's field of vision, improve focus, comfort, and reduce fatigue while on rugged trails. The isodynamic performance seat uses an air over oil shock absorber system, allowing for vertical and lateral seat movement simultaneously to dampen body movements and stabilize the head and neck to keep alignment with the spine. 
This just blew me away. This dampening effect is tunable based on body mass and driver's preference and can be bypassed if desired via levers on the seat's back. I have to be honest with you guys, I would have never thought of this feature and honestly, I kind of want it. Now let's take a closer look at the interior and see what it has to offer. The latest audio multimedia system from Toyota that debuted on the 2022 Tundra pickup is now available on the Tacoma featuring a new 8-inch or an optional 14-inch multimedia touchscreen display. The system supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it will pair seamlessly with the available QI wireless charging pad. Additionally, a USB-C data and charging port is integrated on the right side of the display and dual USB-C charging ports are included in the front row and available for rear passengers. The higher models come standard with a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster with four different styles, while the lower models have a seven inch gauge cluster. The smart key system with push button start now comes as a standard feature across all models. If you have an active remote connect subscription or trial, you can use the available digital key to connect with compatible smartphones, which allow for vehicle entry, tailgate access, and vehicle starting. You can also remotely share the digital key with others to give them control over vehicle access without giving them the physical key. Moreover, an optional smart key is also available, similar to the Tesla, which is a credit card size smart key, which will allow drivers to carry their key with them easily and conveniently. Toyota has maximized cabin space in the new truck to provide ample storage option. Gas models now offer three times more space under the rear seat than previous generations. And the rear seat back can fold down flat to create additional loading surface. The instrument panel features a shelf for storing small items like phones, while molly panels on the center console and door panels provide versatile storage options. Rubber grips are included on all doors and double cap models feature overhead assist handles on the big pillar. The driver's side dashboard also includes a hidden side pocket with a QR code that takes owners to the Toyota website, where they can access dimensions and design their own 3D printed accessories like lanterns, multi-tools, or toolkits. It's impressive level of customization for Toyota customers. For those who enjoy listening to music, both in their Tacoma while heading to the campsite and while at the campsite, there's now an upgraded premium 10 speaker JBL audio system available. This includes a new externally coupled subwoofer for improved sound output as well as a JBL Flex portable speaker that we all saw on the teaser shots. The JBL Flex charges and functions as the center channel speaker when docked on the dash. When removed, it can run for up to six hours connected with other Toyota JBL Flex portable speakers and is water resistant, capable of being submerged in up to three feet of water. That's pretty badass. Two cab styles will be available, a four-door double cab and a new two-door extra cab, both with either a five or six foot bed. The extra cab offered on the SR, SR5 and TRD pre-runner models has seating for two and a functional rear cabin storage area with lockable storage on the rear floor and back panel. The extra cab also features a long slide driver's seat with slide memory and a fold flat passenger seat that doubles as a workspace, maximizing cabin space. This year, Toyota is offering a range of different models, including the SR, SR5, TRD Pre-Runner, TRD Sport, TRD Off-Road, Limited, TRD Pro, and the Trail Hunter. The TRD Pre-Runner is available in the extra cab configuration and comes with two wheel drive, a lifted front suspension, larger diameter B of Goodrich all-terrain tires, and an electronically locking rear differential. Meanwhile, the TRD Sport features black 18 inch TRD wheels, color key door handles, an over fenders, hood scoops, black exterior badging, and aluminum pedals to give it a sportier look and feel. On the other hand, the TRD off-road models is equipped with Bilstein remote reservoirs, monotube shocks, and an optional front stabilizing bar disconnect system. The limited models will offer more sophistication than ever before, featuring a luxurious interior and standard tech such as powered retractable side steps, head-up display, 14-inch touchscreen, JBL audio, digital rearview mirror, and a power moonroof, along with the new smooth riding adaptive variable suspension and full-time four-wheel drive on iForce Max equipped models. For additional information on the TRD Pro and Trail Hunter models, be sure to utilize the chapter markers below as we have already provided more details coverage on those particular models. 
The Tacoma will have a wide range of color options available, including supersonic red, blue crushed metallic, underground, wind chill pearl, solar octane, celestial silver metallic, black, ice cap, and bronze oxide. Toyota will also unveil a new TRD Pro exclusive color for the 2024 model year later this summer, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about the overall look. The narrow body lines on the 4th Gen Tacoma make it extremely aggressive, and I honestly think that Toyota did a great job of keeping the Tacoma's DNA intact. 10 years ago, I owned a 2nd Gen Tacoma, and I have to admit that it was hard to accept the 3rd Gen design when it first was released. Eventually, it grew on me, and I ended up buying a 3rd Gen, but this 4th Gen Tacoma completely took me by surprise, and I didn't think I was going to like it like it this much i i honestly absolutely love it i'm thrilled that toyota went back to a smaller slicker grill design like the one on the second gen i love that certain models come with the option for light bar on the grill and that overall front just looks so aggressive we look at the sides of the truck the body lines are immaculate even stock the stance is impressive and i can only imagine how it will look with bigger tires this truck is going to be insane guys the back reminds me a lot of its big brother the tundra the taillights are pretty much the same as well as the body lines and i dig it i wasn't convinced with the tundra's front end but i did like its rear end and i'm glad they brought those design features over to the tacoma toyota has truly built a badass adventure machine wraps up all the information I have for you. What are your thoughts on the 4th Gen Tacoma? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.